What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and we're here with Alex Dobronowski, CEO of Healwell AI. It's a pleasure to have you on today. Alex, how are you doing? Very well, Aaron. Thank you so much for having me today. Yes, I've been following your story for a while. I'm excited to be chatting. Can you start by introducing the company to our audience and telling us a bit more about Healwell and what you plan to achieve? Sure, I'd love to. So Healwall AI, we're a senior listed company on the Toronto Stock Exchange under ticker AIDX. And we're a healthcare company that's focused on harnessing artificial intelligence for preventative care. So what I mean by that, our technology can screen clinical information and find patients that are at high risk of certain diseases, effectively patients that have fallen through the cracks. And we're commercially active right now in Canada, the US, Australia, and New Zealand. So we have a bit of a footprint and we have a very exciting journey and path ahead. So the company just reported Q4 in full year 2023 financial results. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Sure, and look, our company as a healthcare oriented AI company is, is pretty dynamic. And one of my main strategic initiatives is to grow through capital allocation, through acquisition. So we ended the 2023 year, which was a very transformational year because we effectively debuted as a company October 1. And we ended the year with a top line of $7.3 in revenue. But since that time, subsequent to that quarter, right, through acquisition, right, our trailing 12-month top line revenue is now $20 million. So already a dynamic shift in growth, right, since what we reported at the end of Q4 and where we are today. So the company recently announced new commercial agreements with Well Health USA and Circle Medical, bringing AI-based preventative care solutions to the U.S., which is a huge market, as we know. What does this mean for the company? Yeah, great question. And look, Healwell AI, the company that I run, we have this incredible partner, another senior listed Toronto Stock Exchange company called Well Health Technologies. And Well Health is the largest healthcare conglomerate in Canada, and they have a really big presence in the US. So you can picture my company, Healwell AI, as also a data engine for Well Health. Mm -hmm. And part of this announcement is that we now have commercial agreements with the subsidiaries that Well Health owns and operates in the US, marking effectively us planting the flag at Healwell, entering the US market in a significant way where we're going to be deploying our technology and benefiting patient outcomes from our technology through these Well Health USA subsidiaries. So now let's talk about, you know, management team and your strategy. Could you provide some insights into the composition and strengths of your management team at Healwell? How does each member contribute to the overall strategic vision to the company? Let's hear some of your key members. Sure. And, and actually, before I unpack at the management level, I'll quickly touch on at the board level, because we made a, a very important announcement a few weeks ago where Hamid Shabazi, the CEO of Well Health Technologies, that company I mentioned, right, the largest healthcare conglomerate in Canada, is now the chairman of the board of Healwell AI. So that was a, a very exciting announcement. And that gives us and highlights, right, that gives us the, the rigor and some of the credibility from well health right and, and highlights the strength and importance of the relationship between well health and heal well at the management level you know i'm very proud to talk about my team right because we've populated the ranks with some some very credible and experienced people so we can execute against this mission in ai and one of our strategic initiatives as i mentioned is to grow through acquisition so we added a, a very senior very capable lead our SVP of corporate development, Blake Corbett, who brings investment banking pedigree, corp dev pedigree to the table to help us execute our M&A strategy. And I just, we just recently added two very, very important team members, my co-chief operating officers, Adam Powell Gomez, who, who joined the ranks now as we move to acquire companies to help integrate and to synergize. So with the rapid advancements in AI technology, how does Healwell AI plan to stay ahead of the curve and capitalize on emerging opportunities in the healthcare sector? You know, are there any specific AI applications or innovations your team is currently exploring or planning to introduce? Yeah, so our area of focus from a research and development perspective in AI is on early disease detection. And we have some credibility and pedigree in this space. 
And just recently, actually topically yesterday, we had a very important research paper that was published in, in, a, in a globally recognized medical journal, which really validates and demonstrates our capability from a generative AI perspective, where we were, we were able to use large language models to help us find patients with lung cancer and rare lung cancer issues. So that's just one example of us demonstrating, you know, leadership from an innovation perspective in artificial intelligence and healthcare. But it's a very exciting space that's that's moving at a at a very rapid pace from an innovation perspective. Very interesting. So, you know, the company has already made significant strides in revolutionizing healthcare through AI. Could you elaborate on your plans for expanding into new markets or forming strategic partnerships to enhance your reach and impact globally? Yeah, and so today, right, we're commercially active in Canada, the US, Australia, and New Zealand. And through our strategic initiative to grow through capital allocation, through our acquisition, right, we're going to also be targeting companies outside of these jurisdictions and beyond. So that's going to increase our footprint from a global perspective. And then also we're expanding our key commercial customers. So our customers today have been predominantly life sciences, medical device, precision medicine companies, but we're expanding that purview, right, to also offer these technologies and capabilities to health systems, health insurance companies, et cetera. So we're going to be expanding both from a geographic footprint perspective and then from a customer diversity perspective. So now looking ahead, you know, what key milestones or developments can stakeholders and, and industry observers anticipate from HealWell? in the near future? You know, are there any upcoming product launches, clinical trials, or partnerships that you're particularly excited about and believe will significantly shape the company's trajectory? Yeah, so for sure. For sure. So I think there are two main drivers, two catalyt catalytical events, right, which are going to be coming down the pipeline. First, on the organic side, we're going to have, we're going to be announcing some very compelling commercial wins, some of our research and publication wins, and then on top of that, we're very close in terms of making some announcements from the M&A side, right? From, you know, exciting investments and also acquisitions in this space. Well, it's been a pleasure, Alex, learning all about the company. We finally got to have you on and I look forward to providing more updates as things progress. Best of luck and uh, we'll have, you, have to have you back on soon. Thanks. Thanks so much, Aaron. Really nice speaking to you and I, I hope to speak to you guys again.